want to get away. But what if you really want to get away, like far, far away, like away from gravity and all those other inconvenient things that come with life on Earth? Well, a Silicon Valley startup called Orion Span has announced plans to open a luxury hotel in space just four years from now. And joining me now is Orion Span CEO Frank Bunger to show us how we can book a room at this celestial hotel. Frank, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right. So this does come with a steep price tag, of course, $9.5 million for the entire 12-day trip, $80,000 for the deposit. Who is the ideal traveler? Who are you marketing this trip to? Yeah, good question. We're really after a set of people who have probably achieved some significant success in life or had some other excitement in life that they can, um, they can make this something affordable for themselves. And they, they want to have some sort of adventure. You look at the previous space tourists that have been to the International Space Station. Um, these are folks that came from uh, many different walks of life, but they shared a, uh, a common love of uh, space travel and also wanted to push the boundaries of what had been done before. All right, so let's say I pay my $80,000 for my deposit. What do I do next? You mean, you know, regular astronauts, they have to go through a training program, but as a civilian, what kind of training would I need to do to prepare myself for a trip to space. Yeah, there will be a training program. So just uh, so historically, to give you some context, uh, the training program that the private uh, tourists on the ISS uh, went through was actually a 24 month program. So it was very, very long. We've reduced that to only three months because we realize people are busy and they can't take significant time away from their lives. Uh, and so part of that training will be online. Uh, the first phase of it will be online through a, both an application as well as through a web browser. The second phase will be at a facility in Houston that we're going to be opening early next year. And the final phase of the training will actually be aboard Aurora Station. And this will all lead to a astronaut certification. And our intention in the future is to work with partners and make that certification into something you could potentially use for other commercial spaceflight ventures in the future. Yeah, on your website, you talk about all the things that people can do while they're in space. That $9.5 million gets you those 12 days on the trip uh, in a space that's 43 feet long by 14 feet wide with five people. Sounds like pretty cramped quarters, especially when you have to share it with five people. Yeah, it, it potentially could be. But I think the uh, one, one thing you're not taking into account there is that the uh, there will always be an additional, at least one additional spacecraft attached, like in our drawings. Uh, and that spacecraft will be there so that if uh, people need to, to leave for some medical emergency or some such that they can return. So there's actually going to be more volume available than just that single station. Uh, but our goal was right. to get there, get, get to market quickly and get, uh, get something up there that was far lower cost. And that's why we've been able to bring the price point way below what people historically paid for this type of trip. Yeah, this is this is exciting for a lot of people. You talked about those trips to the ISS, which cost $20 million. And of course, you have to fly on a Russian made rocket to get there. Here in America, of course, we have Orion Span and SpaceX. Do you expect to see more competition in this space for private space travel? Pardon the pun. Absolutely. Both, uh, I think, in our own sector as well as in launch. And uh, if anything you see in the launch business, there is a new player nearly every day announcing they can get there cheaper, better, faster. So uh, that, I think it's an exciting time for space, and we're excited to be part of that. Yeah, space travel is exciting. It's uh, something that's always been key to uh, America's culture, so we look forward to seeing what comes down the road. Frank, thanks so much for being with us, and good luck with Orion Span.